Well, hello, and here we are to review the portfolio for Gen C. I hope it's the right way to say it. I'm sorry if it's not, but I'm not really good with names, so I hope it's okay. Um, so what I would like to start with is to just go through the entire pro uh, the portfolio. Just when I get a portfolio, I just go through it quickly, like how many works I'm gonna look at. You're right. Uh, so here we have a bunch of work here. Seems like you have a lot of work and we can go through it and then see what, uh, if we can make it more condensed or we just need to keep everything. So um, let's see how it goes. Okay, for the starter, this uh, art piece is epic. This concept is really lovely. I love the color. It's memorable, it's impactful. And uh, I would like to see a little bit of information about you here, like not because you own, you don't even have your last name, so and nobody will know who's who you are, right? Just add like a portfolio, like an email or a website or whatever, anything that connects you, us to you here. And about this specific artwork, I'm going to talk more because I know you have it later here. But for now, for this start, this is uh, a great start. Uh, it's a good work uh, and it uh, catches the eyes. So we have our first project, uh, the Redeemed. We have like a sort of poster for it. And if I want to zoom in and what you did um seems like it's a little bit rough and also not like the best quality i would say but uh i get it you are trying this is like a rough concept and see it's like a seems like this artwork doesn't have the best quality so i'm not sure what happened here but i would maybe it's me because this one looks really nice and sharp but uh it's nice that you also you, you're showing us that you're really good with colors and lighting and this is your this is something that you want to do right so i admire that because that's also my passion and when i see a lot of sharp lights and coloring and it's just uh i'm stunned so mm, it works on me <laughs> but uh, I think it's a great start. You have uh, something that is still is just selling your project and this is a good pick. Now, if you go further, we see some visual development concept thing that you have like this 3D map uh, here and blueprint and then you have the entire scene painted and in 3D and 2D and we have some lights set up and I think it's this looks great because it shows uh, that uh, you can do so much uh, with designing an interior and I wouldn't just have so now this page like half of the pages are your references I don't think we need to even see what your references were because here I can see what you can do and these are just occupying the space and uh, the show is about these two concepts I wouldn't add the references and if even if you want to add it, I would add some of it maybe here because you have some sort of layout here that shows your process, like early process. But here you're kind of showing us something more cleaned up. So uh, just to have half of the page for these, I wouldn't do it. I It's not important. Uh, and uh, here uh, we have some sketches of the same design, which I love. I think this, I'm not sure if this comes first here or this was your concept and then you made it a 3D because it makes more sense if you draw something and then make it a 3D. So I'm not sure what is the order of this, but I like that you also put this here as like your concept. For this project, I would start, um, as let's go through the whole thing. We have characters, we have some time. It's all for the same project, right? Yeah, redeemed. So the way that you started, I, don't, I just want to say it before I forget because I can see you shared a lot of work of the, for this project, is that it is better if you introduce the project to me little by little. So when you showed me this poster, I realized there's a character and there's a story 
and and then I jumped into a room that I don't know what's going on so it, it's more fun if you usually even if it's not like your point of even if you don't want to spend too t too much time on it just add a like a mood board for like or not not sorry not the mood board but just story scenes or uh yeah just uh create some concepts for a story scene or the character so try to share it little by little so when i get to this environment i know a little bit what's going on because now i see all this and then i see this so it's better if i see this first and then i realize wow this is what how you did it right so uh, this is my personal opinion honestly but i would say sell your art faster than your process so uh this is a this is a good shot i can see you'd use the same room and it has all the element and then you used it for the story you use it in different camera angle and this is awesome uh, something about this work that when i was looking at it for a while i realized that um this golden light and this like dramatic warm light usually brings a, a story of like yeah this is like uh, about god and about uh right it's, it seems like this guy yeah mm. yeah so it seems like this story is like somebody's uh, going through some rough time to um and, and it's spiritual and it might be religious and this is this golden time that is a moment of salvation or realization and i like that you tried a dramatic lighting for the scene and i think it's really powerful what i would i'm not sure about ex the exact story you want to say but i think something that this all this line resembles is like a jail uh, so we need to be very careful with uh, what everything that you add in this it's going to say something about the story so here uh, i can see like you try to make it more glorious but again a lot of lines here it makes it like a cage so i wouldn't do it i would make uh, uh something i would try something else. i'm not sure why so you have this little cross here right it seems like it's about Christianity. So I would create a cross here, right? To make it more, uh, you, you know, match with more with your story rather than a lot of thin line that is, makes it too noisy, honestly. And also I would maybe, um, yeah, I think that's, that's a good start to create something that is more s relatable to the story. And, um, and also in general, I think, this i'm not sure what's going on if you want to say he's just quit drinking or something's happening i i do not agree where this is going so it's either next to this guy and the book is ne between them or so i think these elements are important and they're kind of lost in where they are and it's a bit chaotic but in general i think uh, you got a good mood for the story and you have something uh, clear that you want to share and say which is nice and that's the most important part the rest are just a little bit of adding to the technique uh, so i like it i like it mm. uh, yeah I, I would still look up for this sort of lighting if you have the treaty already because i'm not sure uh, about uh this area usually where the lights come this area I if it's like this area might be a bit darker but I still would look it up or create like something similar in the 3d to see what happens here because this I feel like these are all these corners wouldn't be all this bright with this light right but let's see and uh, we have the characters here we have some uh, sketches of the characters they're all in different uh, mood and uh, yeah Th i think the similar things happening there uh, that with the previous portfolio i love that you are have your own style and you are creating something cultural here which is important to share we don't see it a lot and i think we have to 
but the thing is they're all kind of standing in a similar way so if you see there's a hand here there's a hand here it's like kind of similar poses and these were these two have a, li a little bit more character but i would still add a little bit more like uh, movement to the poses so if this guy is like a strong guy maybe he's holding his thing or if the lady is like having a basket maybe she's like more curved or put it in like uh, put the she's putting the basket in the hips right just they're all like like standing in a straight line and i think you could play around a little bit with the character sheet and character design if this is the only sheet that you have uh, to show me a lot about one character with only one pose and that could add a lot to your lineup and please be careful with all this I mean this uh, kissing uh, it's not uh, something that we want to see this is uh, sort of annoying for the eyes to see this so I would uh, be very careful with uh, I want to go back am I a stud? no uh, like this look and I think you need to be a bit careful with all that. Just create more space between the characters. Even if they're smaller, it's better. It's fine that these two are touching because it seems like they're a family or they're from the same tribe. But in general, uh, it's either this, so the overlap is very clear, or just create some space because we don't want the character to just almost touch each other. So we are here. This is a lot of work here. Uh, yeah. So, and here we have this epic work of people in the forest. Somebody seems like it's dead or there's some, they're carrying something important. I'm sorry if I don't know what's the story. Just making up a stuff. And I love everything you created here. I love the atmosphere and the vibe and the magic. And the one thing that I would be careful is here is that I see you did exploration because I also want to comment about this exploration is that in here we see a lot of the same lighting. So one of the reasons we do thumbnails is not only to change the camera, but like here you have a softer light, right? But um, then if you want to pick this one, Maybe explore also a little bit of where the the light's coming from because here I can only see a little bit of different colors. These two are kind of similar. And what happened here is like this color, this light, which is almost close to center, is um, grabbing all my attention. So I barely see what's going on in your story. And the, I think the first thing I need to see is this, right? Because I want to see them walking in the middle of the forest. And if they're in the center and there's something this strong here, this I don't think is working the best. So maybe explore with bringing the light a little bit lower so we don't see this sharp dot like white in the middle of the dark. And we just see like what you did here. We just see maybe some effect of like the sun rays or maybe we see it a little bit here which helps to clear the silhouette and then the rays are helping with the like uh, with our eyes to go with the direction of where the, these people are going right so try to play around with the position of this light because it's possible that even if it's in the forest it could be a little bit further it could be behind a tree it could create like some sort of perspective direction for us that can help us to see this story and not uh, make the story get lost in this powerful, powerful focal point. So, but in general, amazing work. You're doing great and I love the, the story and then the vibe and it's very special. It's uh, great you have some exploration here. Um, there's a lot of uh, references. Um, it's fine like one or two is good you don't need to create show us a lot of reference i mean just open an art book and see how many references you see nothing so uh just do that right just uh show us your process and we can see from your work your understanding of light and colors because that's why we want to share our references that we want to tell everybody hey we looked at real references and this is what inspired me so um, 
here we have another village in two colors in two different colors there and we have a bit more sketches of the village and more village and more village and more village okay so I'd love for you to just pick the work that you like the most and maybe condense this project a little bit more so for example if you want to have like one or two pages for the for like the concept like this for uh, the key shots like for the story uh, beats and some characters and then some development uh, that would make more sense uh, because uh, then there's so much happening and even we have like the village here we see the exploration here and then another page of the village here and then again another page about village and then another page about village. so I think if I see like two pages about village I know what you can do right and uh, I would uh, it's a great work I like what you did uh, but I would have still um, condense it and uh, see what is the strongest work bring it up uh, in the portfolio and see which one is really necessary and which one is not so you did a lot of color tests here and here we see a lot of pre like a 3d base and then some sketches of how you made it and um, I mean in general one or two pages in your portfolio that shows this process is and completely enough for the rest of the portfolio we don't need to see it every time and especially because you had it once I think up there if I'm correct yeah you had it here you already created a 3d scene and this is like more the the 3d scene you created there it's more finished compared to this one right so you already have some 3d work and and I don't think uh, unless you want to show like a one little shot that this is 3d I don't think you need to go through it all over again and over again in your portfolio you already have a lot of great work and you already showed what you can do uh, before in your portfolio to us I love this shot it's very um, yeah it's like a dramatic and there are so many so much like I see motion happening I love that and uh, about this this is like a, a little it's like a part of the village and uh, in terms of lighting and the uh, camera I think uh, you have a stronger work so uh, we already saw the village a couple of times so maybe this would be one of the work that I don't think it's it's necessary in your portfolio I'm not saying not to, no, to not share it but if I don't see this I still know what you can do with the locations with the concepts so this is what I mean that to condense it more because usually when they are looking at the portfolios there are hundreds of applications and you want to just show them in like 10 12 page that what you can do and that's it right so there are more projects uh, uh like uh, yeah the same religious aspects uh more projects about india and yeah and more yeah okay so you have some personal studies nice and yeah, I think uh, you already shared a lot with us about what you can do and I can see the same again in this work. You did the same, a lot of references and some studies. Um, yeah, I think uh, you your work is great. Just try to condense your portfolio a little bit and uh, I think everybody can see that you can do so much. If you want to add more project to your portfolio, make sure it, it has a little bit of different style or time or, or uh, yeah, just uh, because concept, but it seems like they're all similar. Everything you shared uh, belongs to the same thing, except for the first room that we saw. And these are good because then I can see you're also looking at other stuff. But in general, if you want to share a little bit of a different timeline different character different culture that's also could be helpful uh, to show that you can do a lot of other things so uh, thank you for your time and I hope this was helpful thank you